Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of the Nintendo Switch Launch Special from Big C TV. My name is Chris aka Big C. Now, the Switch is set to launch in, oh, a little over 24 hours. Get hyped everybody. <clears throat> so, I figure it would be a good idea to talk about a few things that I've thought of in terms of how the Switch could be either a huge success or an abysmal failure. Now I've been reading some of the news coverage about the Switch over the last few days and it seems to be getting very mixed reviews. Some people really like what it does but apparently it has several flaws. I'm not worrying about any of that because I'm going to have my own impressions and I might even do a hardware review which I've never actually done. Um, so look for that after I get some more hands-on time with the Switch. But I'm going to give you two different videos that are going to focus on five reasons why the Switch will be a huge success or an abysmal failure. So we're going to start with the positive. Here are five reasons why the Nintendo Switch are, is going to be huge and possibly game-changing. All right. So, number one. Third-party support. One thing that Nintendo, for the most part over the last few console generations, with the Wii being the lone exception, has kind of struggled on is third-party relations. Sure, Nintendo makes tons of great games, and they have a good staple of second-party developers to help boost their first-party sales, but keeping third parties around hasn't been a high priority, and it shows. When you look at the system's and the amount of games that were out on the GameCube and the Wii U, neither had a particularly strong showing from third parties, although they had their fair share of solid entries. Um, the Switch can be the game changer for that. Um, all you have to do is go to a developer and tell them, look, this game that you've been working on for PlayStation 4 or Xbox One, imagine if you can sell it to people who can take it on the go. That's one of the biggest selling points of the Switch, and I think the ability to take console quality games on the go is going to be a huge selling point for third parties. Of course, it remains to be seen whether some of the biggest franchises in gaming decide to migrate over to the Switch, but we do know certain ones are, such as FIFA, NBA 2K, Just Dance, just to name a few. Um, so it'll be interesting to see where the third party support is for the Switch in the future. So that is an aspect that will, if done correctly, and if Nintendo really focuses on those third-party relationships, could mean gold for the Switch. Number two is focusing on what makes the Switch the Switch. So of course, with the Nintendo Switch, the biggest thing that the system has going for it is the fact that it is a console that you can take with you. You can take console quality games with you on the go, even though it's for a limited amount of time, but still. Um, and I think that's going to be a major factor into what kinds of games are going to come out on the system. You want to make games that obviously appeal to both gamers who just want to stay at home on their home console, but are interested in taking it on the go. So finding that nice mix of games that work well portably, games that work well at home, and some that kind of combine that two, um, is going to be very important to making the Switch a big success. Two other things I think are going to be very important for future Switch entries are, are of course, the Joy-Con controllers and the touchscreen. So those are two aspects of the Switch that are kind of unique. Touchscreen gaming isn't anything new. Nintendo's been doing it for a while with the 3DS, but not to the same extent that it's been going on with iPhone or anything like that. So the fact that the Switch has a touchscreen and controllers means that they can do a lot of stuff that is kind of unique for the Switch that uses touch gaming as well as thumbsticks and face buttons. The Joy-Con controllers are another major aspect that I think could be a game changer. There's a lot of really cool technology in those little controllers such as motion control, and an IR sensor, um, and HD rumble, but it's not going to be a success unless there are developers who are willing to make games for 
the Joy-Cons. Now, Nintendo obviously is working on a few with games like 1-2-Switch and ARMS, but I want to see more. I want to see games that really utilize all the capabilities of the Joy-Cons and of the Switch to kind of bring back that Wii element of making a very unique game that, I mean, granted, the Wii had a lot of shovelware, but I think if they really hone in on what makes the Switch and what makes the Joy-Con controllers great, you can come up with some really great stuff. So as long as developers, and of course Nintendo directly, um, are making games that are really going to make the most out of the Joy-Con and of the um, the, the touchscreen and portability of the Switch, I think that's going to be a huge aspect to making the Switch a huge success. Number three is going to be Nintendo's online service. Now, Nintendo has been trying to do online for the past couple console generations. The GameCube technically had the ability to be played online, but you really didn't do it. Um, the Wii tried, it didn't work very well, and then the Wii U tried, it worked a little better, but not much. Um, so hopefully Nintendo finally works out the kinks and makes an online platform kind of similar to Xbox One and PlayStation 4 that can really showcase the amazing games that they make because there's no doubt Nintendo is one of the best game developers in the world but they need a solid online platform in order for gamers around the world to play with them and play together um now the fact that they're doing a unified account system I think is going to be a big deal um but we need to know more that's one thing that's kind of difficult about the switch going into release is there's still a lot of stuff we do not know about this system and it looks like we're not going to know until it comes out or after um so hopefully nintendo can really talk to us more about okay what is involved with this account system how is online play going to work especially with the release of games like mario kart 8 deluxe and Splatoon 2, those are both games that are going to be played a lot online, and I want to see what these online capabilities are for the Switch, um, as well as for the Unified Account System. If they can nail that, if they can really create something awesome that will work with the unique platform that is the Switch, Nintendo's got a hit on their hands. I mean, that's, that's the honest goodness truth. Number four is going to be the Virtual Console. Now, I, like I'm sure many of you, was very disappointed when Nintendo announced that the Virtual Console will not be arriving with the Switch on launch day. The main reason being, Nintendo, of course, has one of the best, if not the single best, back catalog in gaming history. They're the ones who started it all, from the NES to now. They just have so many incredible and amazing experiences that gamers would clamor at the chance to not only be able to play, but be able to play anywhere they wanted to. Of course, the Virtual Console's been around for a while, pretty much since the Wii, um, and they've released a whole bunch of different games from various eras of Nintendo's lifespan on the Wii, Wii U and 3DS. But I want to see more of that. I want to see GameCube games. I'd like to see Wii games. I'd like to see games that people have been wanting to play and especially if they do any kind of enhancements such as online play or maybe a slight graphical up for the switch that's going to make it awesome and i'm hoping that's why they delayed the release of virtual console is they really want to make sure when this launches it's going to be fantastic so if the virtual com console comes out fairly quickly and it's really good nintendo has got a hit on their hands with the switch Number five is going to be the merging of the console and handheld lines. Now, when the Switch came out, a lot of people were skeptical in terms of what does this mean, not only for their home console line, such as the Wii U, um, but also the handheld market with the 3DS. Obviously, the Switch is being marketed as their next home console, so the Wii U is done. They've already kind of said this. Now, in terms of the 3DS, a lot of people are expecting the 3DS to continue for a little while, but honestly, if you have a home console you can take with you, do you need it? Honestly, what I would like to see them do, and this is, of course, subjective, um, 
I like to see those lines between home console and handheld blurred. That's the whole idea with the Switch, is you have a home console that you can take anywhere you want. So, a lot of games that would make, be made for the home console, make them for the Switch. Obviously, that makes sense. But I'd also like to see games that are normally on the 3DS, such as Fire Emblem, which has already been announced for the Switch, or the big one, Pokemon. How awesome would it be if we finally, after decades of wanting a proper Pokemon game on a console, that we could finally get one on the Switch? Do I think this is going to be immediately the end of Pokemon games on the 3DS? Absolutely not. I fully expect them to at least, probably at least one or two more on the 3DS. But I really want to see a new mainline Pokemon game on the Switch. And I want to see more games that are normally intended for handhelds on the Switch. Because it is a handheld. It's also a console. Give me the ability to play it on the go, as it's intended, or play it at home. If I want to sit here for hours on end and play Pokemon on my, you know, 60-inch TV, let me do that. Um, and I think that's part of the beauty of the Switch, like I've said a couple times already. Um, so if Nintendo can really figure out how to blur those two lines between a handheld game and a console game and really focus on that and create, you know, a whole bunch of great experiences on one platform rather than two, um, I think that's going to mean huge success. Uh, so, in a recap of everything that I discussed just briefly, we have five reasons why the Nintendo Switch could be a huge success. They got to nail third-party support, get a lot of support from everybody making games. You want them to make games on the Switch, they got to really sell it. You want to really focus on the Switch exclusives, such as the portability of it, the Joy-Cons, and the touchscreen. If you make games that utilize all three of those aspects to the best of their ability, how could it not be a hit? You have to nail the online service. If Nintendo is able to make an online service that works well and that allows you to play Nintendo multiplayer games online with friends easily, what's not to love? You got to nail the virtual console. As soon as it comes out, you got to make sure it's got a ton of great games, preferably with some kind of online or local multiplayer options for the Switch that are portable. That that's that's awesome. That's going to be amazing. And five, blur the line between handheld and console. If you can nail all five of those things, the Switch is going to be a runaway success, and I honestly hope it is because Nintendo, of course, is a great company, and they make all kinds of awesome games and have been for pretty much since the dawn of gaming. So I really want to see the Switch become a huge success and for Nintendo to continue making awesome games because, I mean, who doesn't love awesome Nintendo games? So there you go. Those are my thoughts on five reasons why the Nintendo Switch could be a huge success. Uh, now, if you want to see a differing opinion... Look for another video that should be posted right around the same time as this one for five reasons why the Nintendo Switch could be abysmal, an abysmal failure. Not quite as happy, but I mean, you know, gotta have differing opinions. So that's gonna do it for this episode of the Nintendo Switch launch special. Of course, if you want to see even more Nintendo Switch coverage, look no further than here on YouTube. Uh, I will be doing a live unboxing of the Nintendo Switch on Facebook Live around 12.30ish Eastern on March 3rd. Um, I'm also going to do basic setup, try to make sure everything's good to go for my Switch. Um, I will be doing at one point a live gameplay demonstration, maybe not live, but a, a recorded gameplay demonstration of 1-2 Switch and some of the mini video ga um, mini games that are available on that. Um, and then after I get some proper hands-on time with it, I might even do a review or at least a hands-on impression with the system. So there's still a lot to come for the Nintendo Switch launch special, so keep looking for more videos being added to it throughout the course of this next week. Um, and that's going to do it. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that subscribe button on YouTube. Follow me on Twitch. Both are at BigCTV. Um, I would like to point out that as of now, because Twitch seems to be having difficulty on PlayStation 4, um, 
Xbox One games, I will be streaming on Twitch because it seems to work perfectly well there. PlayStation 4 games, I'm going to start streaming using YouTube. Uh, YouTube's live functionality, um, it's not because I want to necessarily. I really like Twitch and how everything's done. But it seems to work a lot more consistently on PlayStation 4. So expect a lot more games such as my Horizon Zero Dawn and Neo series to all of a sudden appear directly on YouTube and not streamed on Twitch. So just a little PSA on that. Um, follow me on social media on Facebook and Twitter at Big CTV Show. And if you want to help shape the future of Big CTV, become a Patreon patron and help fund other great projects that I can work on, such as my narrative series, which I'm still working on. I just don't have time right now to uh, really devote to it, but I will work on that at some point. Um, and more taste tests, more, more of everything you enjoy. Um, and that extra money goes a long way. So if you want to help shape the future and help me create more awesome experiences and more awesome videos, become a Patreon patron today at Big CTV. Uh, on patreon.com or click in the link in the description below. So that's going to do it for this episode of the Nintendo Switch launch special. My name is Chris and see you next time. We are less than, well, not less than, we're a little over 24 hours. We're so close to the Switch. It's going to be awesome. You me up, you me up, believe it.